In this video, I want to chat about a common GD&T certification exam question. So this is going to be the maximum allowable displacement between the axis of a datum and a feature when the datum and the feature are both coaxial cylinders. So what I mean is we've got two coaxial cylinders. One is the datum. One is a cylinder being controlled with the position tolerance. The question is normally given as the, the position at MMC and the datum at MMB. Now, I could just go through that, but I think it'd be more instructive to talk about, you know, the position at RFS, the datum at RFS, the position at MMC with the datum at RFS, and then the position at MMC and the datum at MMB. So what we're looking for here, we'll start with this first one is how far the axis of this feature can be from the axis of this feature. Now, the datum feature is at RFS, so you know, normally we're gonna clamp it with a collet or a chuck, it's not going anywhere. So we're keeping this fixed, and the only variation can be where the axis of the controlled feature can be. Now, if we look at it like so, so here's a little orthographic drawing, the axis of the datum is going to stay put. Can't go anywhere because it's at RFS. Now, the tolerance zone is 20 thousandths, and of course it would be smaller than that in real life. It's kind of expanded. So we could think of it like so, right? So this is the circular version of this, and then this is projected into 2D. So the axis of this could be all the way over here, right? So we would say right there in this view. So what we wanna know is this, this distance, okay? So we've gotta cut this in half. This is our diametral distance. We wanna know the radial distance. That's how far these two are apart. So easy enough, 20 thousandths cut in half is 10 thousandths. That is how far the axis of the feature being controlled with position can be away from the feature, uh, the datum feature controlled at RFS. Now, let's take a look at this at MMC. What this allows, so this feature has 20 thousandths of positional tolerance when it comes in at MMC, so it's an external feature. So you've got 20 thousandths at two inches, but if the feature comes in smaller, you get more positional tolerance. So that's what's known as your bonus tolerance. The maximum bonus tolerance you can have is equal to your total size tolerance. In this case, it's 20 thousandths. So since we're just looking at worst case here, the maximum, the axis of these two features can be apart, we're gonna add 20 thousandths, our bonus tolerance, to what we already have. So that's going to be our maximum allowable tolerance if the feature comes in small. Again, the datum feature is at RFS, so it's not gonna move around on us at all. So we just have a larger version of this. Same idea, we're just gonna cut this in half. And I won't put the diameter there. So the axis of these two features can be 20 thousandths apart at MMC, right? If the, the position is at MMC. Now, if we move to this, where our datum, datum feature is at MMB, maximum material boundary, things change. Because now we're no longer capturing the datum feature with uh, uh, a collapsing equipment of some kind. It's free to move around, so you could use a fixed gauge. So what's happening here, essentially, if the datum feature comes in small, it can move around. So we want to know how much movement there can be. And the equation for this, the equation for the datum shift of an external feature is the MMC minus what it actually comes in at. So we're looking at worst case, and we're going to say the smallest size it could come in at over Two. That's how far the axis can move away. So in this case, our MMC is one inch. 
the smallest it can be, the actual size or worst case in this scenario, is 0.96. That gives us 0.04 over 2 equals 20 thousandths. That's our uh, datum shift. So we already know what the feature being controlled, this right here, how far the axis of it can be away, 20 thousandths, okay? We already divided that by two, that's the radial. The datum shift already takes care of the radial because we divide it by two. So we're just gonna add these two numbers together. We're saying, We're saying, if we've got the, the maximum material boundary, right, it's of one inch, we're saying the datum feature came in small, so it can shift away in a way in where it couldn't with the RFS. So it can shift away 20 thousandths, that's our datum shift. We add in the 20 thousandths from the position, it gives us 40 thousandths possible uh, separation between the axis of these two features. So that applies, position at MMC, datum feature at MMC. Okay, so I don't know how helpful this is for day-to-day -day stuff, but it is a practice question I've seen. I did see a very similar question to this on the certification, uh, ASME certification exam. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below.